Hi guys and welcome. In today's session, we are going to look at integrating Jenkins and Maven to manage your project. This is a critical component for managing projects in DevOps. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and turn on the notifications so you don't miss an update. Also, if you are interested in a certification program, check out the links in the description below. So, let's begin by discussing today's topic. These are what is Jenkins, what is Maven, the requirements for integration of Maven with Jenkins, and then we will have a hands on demo in which we will run a simple project by configuring the Jenkins. So, let's start by asking what is Jenkins? In DevOps, continuous integration is important and this is achieved using Jenkins which is an open source automation tool made for continuous delivery and continuous integration purposes. It is easy to install and a huge community of developers. Now, let's proceed to get an understanding of what is Maven. Maven, as you may already know, is a build automation tool. It helps resolve dependencies of projects and has a pom.xml file as its core component for managing projects. You can identify a project if it is a Maven compliant or not by generally checking the pom.xml file. Next, let's look at the prerequisites or steps for integrating Jenkins and Maven. Well, some things are obvious such as Java, Git and Maven which should be installed on the target system. But let's look at some other steps as well. These will include us having a Jenkins server, a Maven compliant project which will be stored on Git in our case, and we should have Maven installed on our system. This is not compulsory, but what we found in our case was that if we have Maven installed, it resolves a lot of issues. Then we will go ahead and install the Maven plugins in Jenkins and then configure Jenkins to allow us to run a simple Java project. So, with that said, let's move on to the demo. So, first thing is that you must have a Jenkins server with you. As you can see, I have my Jenkins up and running and here I have a Maven compliant project stored on Edureka GitHub. So, this is the project that I'll be using and we will start by installing the Maven plugin in Jenkins. This is done in the following manner. So go on to your dashboard and go to manage Jenkins and then click manage plugin. In the available tab, click and search for Maven. You should see this button. So click it and click install without restart. Now you have to wait for this plugin to be installed. After the install is complete, we will go ahead and restart Jenkins. Now, we click this and we essentially restart Jenkins. Now, we will log in to our Jenkins and then we will run a Maven project. After the installation is complete, what you will see is that you have a new option available. When you click, create a job. So I click here and as you can see, we have this option available, which means that we can now start building Maven project with Jenkins. But before this, I need to tell you some important components for running a Maven project smoothly in Jenkins. The first thing that you have to do is that you have to give the Maven path in the global tool configuration. So when you click here, go to global tool configuration and then you have to provide the path of the Maven. Now I'll click this button and I'll provide this path manually. So in my system, I have the Maven installed in this location. So what I'll be doing is copying this path and then pasting this location into my Maven and then I'll provide it a name. Now I'll save this and then I'll again go to global tool configuration and provide the path to my get. 
Now in my system, I'll again type where get and provide the path manually. So I'll again copy this and paste it here. Do note that we are not clicking the button install automatically because in our case, what we have observed is that installing automatically doesn't work as smoothly as we would have liked. It. So we click save and we apply. And now we should be able to run a Maven compliant project smoothly in Jenkins. So we have this project and we will run this in Jenkins. So let's give a name to our project. I'll write my Maven project and then I'll select this Maven project type. Now click OK. And here we have a little bit of information about how we want to manage this. So first, I start by giving my project a description. Now I'll click this button which says discard old build. And then I'll specify the number of days that I want to keep the build. And I want to state that the maximum number of build I should have should be limited to just five. Now, for this source code management, I'll provide my project path. So I'll go to my code and then I'll copy it. Now, I'll paste the repository URL here and then I'll specify the branch name, which in my case is main. Most projects have the main as their main branch. So, Ensure that whenever you change this, make sure that the original project has the same name. So here we have main and therefore we have included main here. Now we go on to the build portion in which we will specify what our goals and options will be. As you can see here, it will automatically use the pom.xml which we have stored in our code. And for this, I have my goals and option target set to clean install. Now you have other options as well, such as after the build, you can archive the artifact. But in my case, I don't think that's necessary. So let's go ahead and save the project and then we will go ahead and run it. So to run my project, I'll click build now. Now I'll go to the console output to see what is happening. Do remember that whenever you run into problem, this is where you can identify what is going wrong. So whenever you have problems, ensure that you keep checking the logs. As you can see, we have successfully built our project and we have our jar file stored here. So now I'll go ahead and again verify this. So in the target folder, I should have my jar file and this is my Java project. So now that you have looked at a basic project and how Maven operates, you should have a basic understanding of how it works. And now you should have a basic understanding of how you can run a Maven project. And now you can get started in building your own Maven project. And with that, the demo is concluded. And then thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a bit about how to run a Maven project and how you can deal with the issues. Do remember to experiment with Maven because generally there will be error and you only learn by experimentation. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!